so I just want to do a quick update to the water retention curve using Excel. It seems that that uh, this worksheet is useful for a lot of people, but I've been trying to switch everything to free software lately, free and open source software. So here's a version of the worksheet using LibreOffice Calc. So in essence, it's a, it's, an work, it's a worksheet just like Excel. The functions are pretty much the same. The, the names of the functions are pretty much pretty much the same. So you, you just set you can set the worksheet exactly as I did for the Excel, and uh, you create here a, a column linked to the initial values of the parameters of the Wengenuken or whatever equation, nonlinear equation you want to fit. You here you have here the squares of the residuals, and you have here the sums of the squares of the residuals and a pseudo R square. So it's never a true R square when you're dealing with nonlinear regression. The one of the advantages of the LibreOffice calc, other than being free and open source source, of course, is that these tools for nonlinear regression and statistics and a lot of other analysis they're already implemented here so if you go here to tools there's the goal seek and the solver functions here you don't need to install anything else you just need to install open uh, libreoffice and you have all those tools along with the worksheet program calc uh, so it's open source it's free you can install it on Linux, Windows, and uh, it's pretty convenient. There's some minor drawbacks, but it's overall it's very convenient. So if you want to fit the nonlinear uh, water retention curve to your data, you need to enter the initial values of the parameters. I did here exactly as I did in the Excel worksheet. I fixed the M parameter using the Mullen restriction one minus 1 over n, so we reduce the number of parameters. Keep in mind that those procedures are they're a, lot a lot less robust than if you're using an algorithm like the levenberg marquardt or Gauss-Newton that are designed for nonlinear regression. So I, I have some other code in R and Python that uses those procedures, but, the, but since this is a simple worksheet sheet for teaching purposes, we're just using whatever the worksheet has. So we want to minimize the sums of the squares of the deviations, maximize the R squares, R squared, obviously, by changing theta S, theta R, alpha, and N. So you go to tools, solver, pretty similar to what you have in, in Excel. What we have, we, we, we want to minimize the sums of squares of the deviations, so you choose minimize here by changing cells, changing the initial values of the parameters. So you press, let me just take this out here for a second. You press solve and the, the procedure will do the iterations. So there's, it did 74 iterations. There's some tolerance procedure here that calculates when it should stop. You can do more if you want. Usually shouldn't affect more, much. If the the if you choose the uh, good initial value of, of the parameters, keep the result. So he, you see here that the sums of the square, squares of the devi deviations is 1.89, and the R squared is 0.98. So the values are pretty close to what we find in Excel. Uh, sometimes you can get negative values for these parameters. So that that's why I had that that here before. For example, if you get a neg negative value for n, you just come here and you put a constraint. You can constrain n for equals for values equal or greater than zero. So, okay, solve, and you're gonna get to the pretty much the same value. So keep result. That's it. We fitted the water retention curve using uh, LibreOffice Calc.